Hi everyone, my name is Taylor Evans and I am the study abroad advisor at Winthrop University and I'm here to talk to you today about passports. A passport is what gives you the right to travel internationally. So if you're thinking of going abroad anytime within the next 10 years, it might be time to start thinking about getting a passport. If you didn't know, in your county, we have a local passport agency. And the passport agency is a resource for anyone who needs a new passport. How do you know if you need a new passport? You will need to apply for a new passport if you, one, have never had a passport before, two, got your passport before the age of 16, or three, if you are an adult with a passport that has been expired for more than five years. If you are an adult whose passport has expired within the past five years, then you need to renew your passport. While we do have renewal applications in our office, which you are more than welcome to come get for free, you sadly will need to mail out your documents. You cannot use the local passport agency for any renewal procedures. But let's get started on talking about what you'll need to apply for a new passport. Number one, you will need a certified copy of your birth certificate. This birth certificate must have a raised colored seal, be from the issuing state, and have a file date. This birth certificate also must be a long form copy. That means birth certificate cards are not valid. You must also have a black and white copy of this certificate with you. Number two, you will need a passport picture. You can get your picture taken at the local CVS or Walgreens, or you can have one taken at the agency. The agency will take your photo for $10, and this payment can be accepted in the form of cash, card, or check. Number three, you will need to bring a photo ID. A valid photo ID will either be a driver's license that is older than six months or an expired or valid passport. Number four, do not sign the application until you are in the presence of the passport agent. Number five, make sure you fill out the application in black ink. Number six, if you make any mistakes, you must start a new application. Do not white out or strike through anything on your application. Number seven, a passport book costs $130. This must be paid through a check or money order. Do you have a checking account? You can go to your bank and ask for a checkbook, or you can go to your local food lion right next to the agency and use cash to place a money order at a low cost. Number eight, there is also a $35 clerk of court fee that will be owed to the agency at the time of your application being processed. This can be paid in any form of payment, including card. The only thing they cannot accept is out of state checks. Number nine, wait for your passport to arrive in the mail. Please note that it can take between seven and 10 weeks for your passport to arrive, and even a little longer for your documents to come back. And that's what you'll need to apply for a passport. If you would like a passport application, please swing by our office, Dinkins 218 on campus for a free application. These are not something you can print online. So please come by, we have plenty for you. If you are wanting to get a passport for a child under the age of 16, please email our office at studyabroad at winthrop.edu for more information. And please email us with any general questions at all. Again, that's studyabroad at winthrop.edu. We hope to see you at the agency soon.